Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 40 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvary. So right now we're actually witnessing the last few minutes of the game against AC Piazanova. And if we look at the highlights here, you'll see good old Sanotti continuing the trend of scoring braces as he's actually scored two today. So far, it looks like we won't be having any injuries today. We're still at second place. And let's just have a look at the performances here. We have Sanotti at 3.5 stars, but that is 91 minutes into the game. We have to take that into consideration. Elsewhere, we have our wingers doing a swap at halftime and in doing so, we actually get a training share of 75% for each of them, William Davis and Leas Lotka, because they play for 45 minutes in the wing slot and then a 45 minutes share in the central midfield um, slot. And that's a way of optimizing their game, not only having the wingers play out on the wing to just get 50% of the training. That's something we try to do in order to optimize uh, on the profit players, but we cannot really do more because we have to train Farantioni and Sonati in those 100% slots. The game ends six goals to nothing and um, pretty good game for us. Let's just have a look at the league table Sunday evening here. We are second and our goal difference is looking quite good. But next week we have an important match against Berlin United away from home. And that will be quite decisive in terms of uh, getting to know whether we can finish in second or in third come the end of the season. Sunday is also the time where we do the scout call. Let's see what Giorgio has for us this week. Hopefully we can find a new Sanati. 16 years of age? No. That's an insta reject. Primo? 15 years old? He's quick. His winger capabilities? Weak. Could emerge with weak passing. Um, no, we want to see something more. 16 years. Yes, beside him. 16 years and 34 days. We'll get rid of him. We'll do everyone a favor here. Let's take a look at this week's training. So this week we had one pop and that's the pop we were expecting. That was uh, Giuliani Francioni making it to formidable playmaking. Let's just take a quick look at the playmaking sheet. There we go. And as you can see, I've marked out the pop here, but um, again, they are quite similar in the HTMS department, uh, the homegrown players. And uh, I've had people asking about other positions in the team at this point. And um, now we are not really trying to develop any forward or a goalkeeper for that matter, because it doesn't make much sense right now. If you remember the league table, we are actually doing quite well. We are almost at the top of the table and we are earning money. And at this point, it's just about training these three guys. All of the rest, pay attention to the to the dollar mark here. That means it's all about making money for all these training spots. Once these guys reach a level of uh, level 14 defense, we will bring in some wingers and they will be important. And once they've actually reached a certain level, and that would be around 17, perhaps a little more playmaking, we will start bringing in other players, perhaps a forward or maybe an offensive central defender. I haven't made up my mind about that, but I'm thinking about bringing in a forward once we find those wingers. And at that point, we will be training six players. And uh, for a good while, while tra training these six players, we won't actually do too much about the other players. But once they start gaining some real skill, and I'm thinking a lot of playmaking, a lot of passing as well, then we will think about playing competitively, and then we'll add the rest of the players. And that's because Hattrick is about the long-term peak. Perhaps we will go for a, a few players that could sustain some value while we play and perhaps make a, a promotion or two. So that's the reason why I focus a lot on these three guys at the moment. Looking at the youth training, um, let's just have a look at the last match we played against LG Skolen. That's a Danish team. And um, yeah, you can see Camellini is still the, the top prospect here. And I'm a little annoyed by the fact that he's technical, but we're still training and uh, we'll see if we can move him on because he might be able to sell for uh, a little bit of money actually. Anyway, we played 
a match against the main team in Denmark and we didn't get any extra training this week. That's because Nick Ottweiler scored a goal in the 31st minute, so shame on you, Nick Ottweiler. But yeah, first time we played with the stadium's new name, Stadio della Liberta, and we almost filled the stadium. We'll have to look at expanding the stadium sometime soon already. That's a good sign because we're doing quite well in that department. Let's just have a quick preview at next week's game. So next week we'll play Berlin United as I said earlier. It'll be a tough game to see if we can actually consolidate our position as the second best team in the league. But we'll try all, all that we can in order to do so. Let's just see the top scoring list. Yeah, we are well ahead and Sanotti is just the absolute man of the moment. Man, 10 goals, 9 games and he's not even a forward. He's the midfield captain good to see you love to see it i'd have to say anyway that's all for this week i hope you have a great weekend hat trick and i'll see you next week thanks for watching once again see you soon